Hi guys, so let's get embellishing this envelope journal. So I've just got a couple of hours before I have to go out for my first session at the gym. So I'm gonna motor on and get some of this done so I can at least get a video up for you today. So I'm thinking we will start on the first couple of pages on the inside. We'll see how far we get with this. So maybe we'll start making this beautiful tag. And I just realized I've forgotten to sew me bigger pieces that I was meant to do, so I'll do that. But um, we'll get started on the front of this tag first. So this tag I did on um, craft card stock. So I've got a bit of scrap here. So I'm going to do it around about the same size. We'll just see how it fits into our new, because this one's a bit different. It just fits, yeah, it fits side on all right. Yeah, that fits fine, so it's about the same. So I'll tell you the measurements of it, just in case yours is around a similar size. Plain. Let's move that up there. So this one is about, it's about five inches by three inches. So I'm not going to tell you centimetres, you can work that out. <laughs> you can always look online and do one of their, whatchamacallit things, conversion things. That's what I always do. I've just had to teach myself inches. So, <laughs> so we will cut this about the five by three. Hope you're all doing well. I got up late because I stayed up way late last night finishing a journal, which you will see after the recipient gets it. It's nice to have something ticked off my big list of have to do by the end of the month. Now I've got to start my group challenges. Right, so that's the basis of our tag. Now I'll just do the corners. Not too fussy with my corners, I'll just do them how they come. That will do. Always do one a bit lower than the other, so I'll just chop that off. Yeah, yeah, that'll be. <laughs> Alrighty, so basically I left a lot of the card look there because I actually like the colour for this project. So I just used some music paper, very simple, down this side. So I'll grab some music paper, which I do have some beside me. It's already nicely ripped up. So I'm just going to rip a bit of this off. Just rip the top bit. Should I cut that because we want that sort of straightish? Not that it will be, and I'll have to trim it anyway. So I just ran the music paper down like that pretty well. It didn't go the whole way down there, but it would look alright going the whole way, so I might just leave it and do it the whole way. So I think I didn't sew around this one, so I'll use my Helmars. I might just take some of the excess off here so I know where to put the glue. Grab my spare paper sheet to glue on. trying to do a hundred things today. I did a flip through video of the finished journal and I'm trying to get this done, trying to get the dishes done. I've 
I've got, I don't know, about four or five happy males I need to pack. <laughs> That'll be tonight's job after the gym, I think. And I need to get started on these challenges. Great to see so many of you following along with this. It is a really fun project. Now. Um, now, I did my picture on there as well and we need to make sure that our picture is going to fit into our window properly so that is probably the hard part so we've got our window there now I've got to hunt through all my pictures I know I found a whole lot that one's a bit big she's she looks pretty good might just choose her. It might cut off her head or her toes in there, but I will. So I'm just going to cut around. Tidy her up a bit. Oop, drop her. With all of my pictures, I inked around them and it just gives them that sepia tone. I inked around them and on them. So I just run my ink over like that. I'm using my oxides, but you can use either the ink or your oxides. And then I just dab a bit in there. It just takes the whiteness away and makes it look a bit more vintage. And then if you want harder lines around the edges, I go around and flick it on like this. So there's our picture ready to go. I'll just try and get a little bit more down in that wider spot. Now, this is the hard part because we want her to go in, in the window section. So I'll stick our tag in there. I just like to get a look at where it sort of sits. So, you can see we've got, it's where it says the height and just below. So you can gauge sort of by the notes and the words of the music sheet there, whereabouts we want it. So looking at that. So she's pretty big compared to him. So if I hold her on there, let's see if we can slip her down and see if we're somewhere nearby. Sometimes you've got a bit of wiggle room, so in your pocket so you can wiggle them to make them fit. Oops, she moved. But looking at that, it's almost right. I think we're just gonna move her over a bit. So I reckon I'm gonna stick her like that and hope that that's all right. <laughs> it's a bit of a guessing game. She is big, isn't she? Because we did see. Let me just double check again. We see the height, so we want her down below that. So 
about like that. Looks about right. So if it's a bit off, it doesn't really matter as long as you see most of her, I suppose. I'm saying that to cover myself if she's a bit off. So I want to down below where it says the height. Let that dry and then we'll just see how we've gone. She feels pretty good, so we'll slip her in and have a look. Fingers crossed. There we go, that's not too bad. Off a bit down there, but you just move your tag over. There we go. So she fits in lovely there. So yeah, it's just a bit of wiggling and jiggling and just going by whatever text page or uh, music page you put in there, you know, helps you figure out where to put her. All right, now that's the hard part over. So then I did a bit of stenciling and, sorry, stamping. <laughs> I'll grab my stamps here. Now, I did forget my stamp blocks. I'm good like that. I'll just find them. Maybe I'm here somewhere. That drawer. And I've got these stamps from the lovely Pam. So I used that one on the bottom of this one. But you could use anything, obviously. But we'll reuse that. Then I've got a bit of music stamp, just looks like I've done it just down that section too. So I'll just do it. Yeah, I might have done that beforehand, not that it really matters, it just makes it a little more awkward. So I've got this Kaiser Craft um, sheet music stamp that everyone has, I reckon. And I'll just use my oxide again. Now I do like doing a tester, just to see where it's missing ink. So we will put that down the bottom of her. Beautiful, grab a tissue. And then we'll get some, we'll just partially get some on the music stamp. I'm not too fussed if this isn't a fully stamping. I just want a faint faint bit of music down there like that will do. Now I did do some stenciling and I did the stenciling on this with negatives. Now I don't think I've got those same, oh, there's some book page I might use, oh yes I do, um, where I die cut these um, Tim Holtz flowers out of I used bits of them to just stencil lightly. So we'll do that again with this bit since I found it. I've used the other bits to make tags out of this. So I'll put some down here. And I'll just sort of dab it in, or else I'll break the stencil if I try rubbing it on. Bit of a dab and rub. Now, I don't know if that's come up much. Oh yeah, it has a little bit. We only want it lightly, so and I'm gonna turn him over and just do this side. Oh, 
Right, and there's our stenciling done. It's a lot lighter than on that, but that's fine. Now, I did sew the little tab on and I've got to do the backing piece, which I need to sew as well. So I'll take a break afterwards um, and do all the sewing for that, but I'll get done what I can <coughs> here first. So now we want a word. I'll just grab my word folder and see what we've got hanging around. That's not the right one. That's my stencil folder. I think I'd get it right by now. words so I need to organize myself better Maybe we'll just use this one here that says Dream. I think these were lavender blue freebies, these ones. That'll do all right up there. <laughs> I've pulled out everything to do this. Usually I'll pull out one thing and do it and then put it away. But because I'm filming, I sort of tried to pull out everything. I needed so my desk is absolutely full so it's going to be like a bomb set it after doing this it's funny how you can do the smallest little project and it just creates the biggest mess I hear my son making all these silly noises I think he's playing some game with my daughter online she doesn't live here so they're playing across the internet, which is good. At least they're catching up. I'll just muck that up a bit and make it a bit darker around the edges, I reckon. So that's our tag basically. Um, all we've got to do now is the tab and a little journaling spot at the back, which I'll have to do afterwards. Now for the tab, I didn't bother going to search for all the um, fabrics I was using before. I thought I would just grab out my scrap fabric and I have been using this on a project. So this would go quite nicely too. And I've got my scrap fabric. I'm thinking I'm just going to use a piece of this. And so I'm just going to cut a strip off. So this will just be folded and sewn on the top there like that. So I might just fray it a little bit first. Well, that side's not going to fray, that doesn't matter the side where the material started so just make sure we fray this and the ends a little bit just chop this little bit off so that's our tab ready to go for that so I'll put that to the side um oh the other thing you might like to do too is just ink around your tag because that always highlights highlights it nicely makes a big difference really and I always forget to do till after I finish my video usually. All 
right, now it's ready to go. So we'll just sew the um, spot and sew the tab on a bit after. So I'll put that to the side. Now, we might end up just getting the two tags done and then tomorrow I can come on and do the rest. I'll put him away in his spot for now. So he goes in there. Now on the other side we have this and it's a little altered coin envelope. Now I picked up these coin envelopes from um, Rayleigh at Craft from the Dungeons Craft in the Craft from Dungeons, I think. <laughs> I always gotta say it wrong. But that's alright. I heard Bonnie trip saying it wrong, I think, the other day, so that was alright. So I've got a blank one here. So I might as well get on with that. I think, I think. So what I've done is use these dies. I got these from AliExpress, I'm pretty sure. And they come in a nesting set of heaps. So I used two that were just the one size up from the other one. As you can see, to cut out um, the picture of the lady plus the um, book page behind. So I've done a similar thing so that I was ready. And I have used music page this time. Now I've cut out a few because whenever I use my dies, I like to use a couple of pieces of paper, especially if the paper's thin. So that gives me extra to use in other projects. So I've cut out this lovely lady and then I've done some music paper this time, just for something a little bit different. So they will sit like that. Put these ones to the side. Put my dies away. Now, to alter this em um, yeah, envelope, I don't know what I was saying then. Um, it looks like we've just got some book page and then some of your coloured book page from the start or back of a book, which I'm pretty sure was this one. So we'll just do some of that again. So we'll start with our book page. And we'll just find some in my multitude of junk that I have hanging around. I might even be able to use this picture. It's almost right. I'll just put that to the side because I might use that. Oh, this will work. All right, so we'll use this piece. Now, I'm just going to fold the top flap over so that we know where we want to put stuff. We want that to go about that wide. I like the envelope showing a bit around each side, sort of. Now we might just rip this. I did rip the top, but it's not ripped very ripply. I just made a word. All right. Something like that'll be all right. So now we want to ink around the edges of this one. Nothing too technical. You know, I don't, I keep saying to people I don't do difficult because I can't. <laughs> I've still got a lot of learning to do, so I'll have to follow along with some tutorials myself. <laughs> but yeah doesn't need to be difficult it still looks really nice even if you do simple things so and let this on Coloured page. Now, I think about how I rip because I don't want the white edges. Yeah. 
It will do. So we'll put that on. I'll just give it an angle because you can see a little bit of the white. And then we've got to ink around our ladies, or our lady, I should say. one on top of that one. Pretty well centered her. Huh? So very easy. Looks cool though, I love it. So the next thing we want to do is find a nice little bit of lace off cut to put up the top there. So I've got this bin. And we want one of these sort of thicker, prettier bits. Let's see if I've got, I've got a little bit here of the similar stuff. That might do. Not quite as nice. Might just use it anyway, booze. I might use not my junky scrappy bits. Just trim it up, I think. It's a bit messy. Sometimes I like the messy bits dangling, but sometimes I don't. This is off of some shirt that I or dress that I've bought from the second hand shop. Someone gifted me a little bit of this stuff, which they might have. Anyway, second hand. I think I'll just put it like that. Now, of course, you could put some nice words or something. I'm. I like words, but I don't like them on everything. And I think sometimes <laughs> they end up on everything. <laughs> so I tend to go without. And then if I go to put it in a journal and I find some certain word that looks like it would be perfect, then I might put it on, but otherwise I just tend to leave them off. Bombs. 
All right, so basically that's our little coin envelope done. Now, as usual though, you might want to go around the edges, which I always forget. little book if I can find it. I've got one here. Where's my, where's my one? <laughs> so, and then we've got my tag which I have to finish off as well, don't I? I might do that. I will do that and have it ready for you um, on the next video because I'll sew the other patches that I was meant to do that I haven't done as well. So I'm ready to go. So yeah, what I'm just going to do is just sew across there with straight stitch. And that'll be the tab and then like I said um, do a uh, journaling spot that I can stick on there but I'll stick it on on camera so that's that and we'll just put a little coin envelope in and then we'll be done so this just slips in um, this little pocket here like that so I'll leave you there for now and I will be back again hopefully tomorrow with a whole lot more see you later